First, remove the surface grinder stop by removing it from the rails. Slide the chuck and rails out of the bearings. Remove the screws from the back of the rails to remove them from the chuck. Move the old rails to the new chuck. Secure the rails to the new chuck using the same screws. Slide the chuck and rails back into the bearings. Reinstall the surface grinder stop into the rail. Place your test piece onto the chuck, noting which way is up. Lock the piece into place by sliding the button outward to lock the magnets in place. Move the X-table close to the belt until it just barely touches. Turn on your grinder and adjust the tracking to where the belt is in the center of the wheel. Make a few passes on the test piece. It is good to put some lines on there to know when you have ground the whole face. Once all the lines are gone, the whole face has been ground. Now we're gonna remove the test piece by pushing the button back in, and sliding the piece right off of the chuck. Now we're gonna measure the piece to see in which direction we need to add a shim. So the first thing we do is look at our arrows and mark which way is the top. Then we're gonna go ahead and measure in all four corners and note the measurements on the piece. This piece here looks to be a 5 thousandths difference between the top and the bottom. So in order to get the piece to the same thickness on the top and the bottom, we're going to add a 5 thousandths shim to the top bearings. First thing we're gonna do is loosen the screws that attach the top bearings. You don't have to take them completely out. You just need to loosen them up enough to be able to slide the shim in behind the bearings. We will then slide our 5 thousandths shim behind the top bearings. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the screws back up to lock the bearings in place. We will add our test piece back to the chuck and make some more passes. Then we're gonna follow the same measuring process as we did on the first step, marking which way is the top 
and then measuring the difference between the top and the bottom of the test piece. This one here looks to be within about a thousandth, which is well within our spec. 